It's the Wendy Williams Show. I'm the hot topic, come on. Okay, first of all, I love you more. Thank you. Um, I missed you more. Um, all right, look. First of all, congratulations to the US women's soccer team. Thank you for um, allowing the Wendy Show to have five weeks off. And they won the World Cup yesterday. Second consecutive win. Girls, congratulations. You know, I mean, and, and uh, here in New York, there's some sort of big parade for them today. All right, so can, oh, uh, Wednesday? Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> Messy show. Okay, all right. I know you've been reading things. I know you've been hearing things. And I'm gonna take the whole hot topics to clear mess up. I would like to give love to the Kardashian-Jenner family. I mean, you know, Chris, uh, first of all, Kim and Kanye are lovely. The house is really, really white, like what you see in the picture. I was scared to touch stuff. All right, let me just say this. Um, th there we are in the kitchen. Kanye's there, his dad was there. The kids are running around. They've got a lovely housekeeper who made delicious lunch. I spent time at the house, they invited me. I dinged and donged, I was by myself when I went to LA. I didn't go with security, I didn't go with friends, I didn't go with uh, 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 nobody. I'm ding dong, and who opens the door? Kim. And, like, like, like we all do, you open your front door, right? I don't know what to expect, because I had to go through two security checkpoints in the neighborhood, everybody's rich, and I'm, I'm just like, okay, come on now, come on now. She opens the door, and the two babies, uh, Saint and um, North, running around, like kids do, right with their mom. They're so polite, they were like, hi. Kim was lovely, Kanye, in, okay, Kim and I, um, we went out to the pool, right? Cause she, she wanted to give me a tour of the house, but all of a sudden I was inside. I was like, what would Norman Baker do? <laughs> Norman? I was like, who have I become? Who have you become? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All I know is, okay, so, so um, I said, no, I don't want a tour. And so she said, well, Come outside, I said, because outside's lovely. So we walk outside and she's showing me all the pool and all the grandiose and I was like, wow, this is really cool. And then I said, let's take a selfie. And I don't know whether you, <laughs> I don't know whether you guys saw it. And then she goes to me, wait, push your hair. It was like, she's just, 
I mean, I've met her before and I've always told you she's a, a nice woman, but I'm telling you, I was at the house and I was like, who have I become? <laughs> right? No lie. Then, then Kanye's dad comes to the kitchen and, and, and I didn't know who he was. I never saw Mr. West before. Kanye, he comes to the kitchen, and then Kanye comes to the kitchen and he's like, you know, very scrutinizing of like, why is she here? What is, what is all going on? And then he goes, come with me to the library. So we go to the library in the house, everything white again. We sit down and he and I are talking, having a great time. The books were mostly fashion books. I, I noticed, it was, it, I didn't see like Hemingway and stuff like that. I saw stuff that speaks to their style, you know? And then, so then Chris comes in and says, you know, we're gonna have lunch. And they're like, you wanna stay for lunch? And I'm like, I have no place to be for five weeks. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, at this point, Kim disappears. She goes to change her clothes. She had something to do or whatever. And the kids are gone. And the lovely housekeeper brings out the lunch. It's me, Kanye, and Chris at a big, hard, white table, but gorgeous. The, the whole, I, I'm just, wow. Um, anyway, all right, so we're eating lunch. What do we have? Okay. Um, everything was pretty plant-based. Like Kanye is really on his diet thing and asked me, you know, have you ever had oyster mushrooms and lobster mushrooms? I said, well, yeah, uh, yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. We had mushrooms. There was like a beautiful rice, something or another. It was plant-based rice. And the, and, and the three of us ate. And then, let me just talk to you about my, con oh, by the way, then Chris goes to me. He really likes you, because he doesn't take people into the library. He really likes you. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, okay. So he missed his first flight just to have lunch and stay at the house. He was getting on the plane to go do, you know, the Kanye Yeezus, you know, the, the revival. The Sunday service. Sunday service. Yeah. He invited me along. <laughs> Shut up. You got an invite to Sunday service? Uh, out of state. He was going like, yeah. uh, like to Wisconsin or something. And the plane was running on the runway, but he was having lunch with me. <laughs> Look, I can't, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Just relax. <laughs> so then, so I was like, no, but next time I come out, I wanna go to Sunday service. I already talked about, I, it looks cool. Yeah. He says he's gonna have it at his house. And so I'm like, I'll be back. <laughs> Look, and the piece de resistance is Chris. Picture, please. What? Okay, first of all, first of all, we took a bunch of different selfies. And so for this one, I was like, let's look cool. And so <laughs> she had glasses there and I had my glasses. We put our glasses on, that's why we're, you know, I said, let's look cool. Chris is, first of all, I, I joke with you when I call her that woman. She is that woman. <laughs> and, I, and I mean that. And I mean that in the best way. Chris and I bond, I mean, I, I got along with the whole family, including the kids, the housekeeper, the, the gardeners, you know, hey, how you doing, how you doing? <laughs> but Chris totally deserves every bit of success she has. That woman works hard. <laughs> and we have each other's numbers, like I call her up and stuff. All right, so what's going on with this headline? And here's what we agreed to. Hi, hi Chris. Um, <laughs> Here's what we agreed to. The family totally respects my job here at the Purple Chair. And I totally respect all their different hustles. But you can't do hot topics at least four times a week. We mention this family. And don't worry, Wendy Watchers, I'll keep talking about them. The difference between now and five weeks ago is I can call up the night before for accuracy. Okay. I'm in, I'm in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and by the way, the timestamp, I was there for probably three hours. So the driver's outside and so we're leaving and I see this woman with a great figure and Chris's hair from behind walking amongst the mansions, you know, in the neighborhood as we're wheeling out. 
So we pull up, and I was like, Chris, wait, it was Chris. I was like, what are you doing? She's got on her stair stepper, you know, that, that watch, the, the bit thing? Yeah, yeah, she exercises and stuff. Really beautiful. Anyway, so she's like, I'm walking to my house. There it is, do you wanna come in? <laughs> at that particular, Norman? I'm, at this point, I'm scared. Okay, <laughs> at that particular point, I was so overwhelmed by the loveliness of the family and that they still respect my hustle also. And don't worry, Wendy Watchers, like I told, don't worry. We now have an inside track. But look, look, so she's, I'm going over to my house. The only reason why I didn't stop and go in, because I got nothing but time, is because my friend Reg was meeting me back at the hotel where I was staying, you know, my, my best friend Regina of 40 years. Um, she was meeting me at the hotel for lunch and I was already late. So I called her up and I said, look, just sit and charge it to my room. You'll never believe where I am and what's going on. <laughs> so I couldn't go to Chris's house, but I'm sure I'll be going the next time that I'm there. We're in. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. And like, I, no, so I was like, who do I call, who do I call? And I wanted to call my mom and dad because they would really, look, I made a note for you. <laughs> I, like, no, look, old times, old times. Look, I missed you so much that everything that I would do, right, I would jot it down. I, look, it, like, I, like I can't, I can't. So, um, Anyway, I was gonna call my parents because I know that they would dig the scene of what I just did, like, like they, they are wonderful people and blah, blah, blah. But my parents went on this boat to Belgium and Holland and yeah, they're, they're like, they're, they're traveling. And not just like a boat, like a carnival cruise. They went on one of those really specific ones that looks like a, a Christopher Columbus boat <laughs> where there are only like 45 cabins. So they're busy. I don't know what time it is there. So I'm in my own head with the entire experience. All right. Next, Black China. Okay. My girl, what can I say? I know we seem like an odd couple, but you know what? Angela is a lovely woman, and so she was doing a big pride to do, and I was there in LA, and I've got no place to be for five weeks. So she goes, come on stage with me. And I went on stage, wig. So, you know, I knew I was hanging out with China for the day, so I grabbed my pink panty shorts and jumped out the window. I said, I've got no place to be for five weeks. Listen, Tokyo Tony, her mom was there. Oh. Yup. And the only reason why I'm leaning away is because the, the, the security guy, who I think is Tokyo Tony's boyfriend, I'm not exactly sure. I could never get to the bottom, but I'm leaning in on him. And again, I said, let's look cool. But she's so happy, all she could do is smile. <laughs> but I, but I, I posed like that because I was trying to do it for you. Like, let, let's look cool. <laughs> uh, by the way, glasses from Trendy at Wendy. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh yes, oh yes. When you get your talk show, you take everything left behind. <laughs> Believe me, you. Uh, by the way, we have a trendy at Wendy coming up today and I'm gonna take everything left behind. <laughs> so, Black China. Okay, so we, she got this tour bus and there was a stripper pole in it and we were having the best time. I met all of her friends. Jack A. Harry showed up with a man she wanted to introduce me to. Oh, believe me you, new Wendy, people are so kind. And the man was actually really good looking, but I, he's a long distance relationship and stuff like that. And it was really weird. I was like, so Jack A was a pimp <laughs> bringing me my, and he knew what he was there for. He comes and sits right, Suzanne, Suzanne. Wendy! Suzanne! This is all too much. I know! I can't hear I know! This is crazy! Listen, just listen! Okay, okay. okay. Damn it, yeah. man. <laughs> so Jack A is at the house. What you don't see is that, and Jack A is older than me, and she's friends with China. And all I can say is that Angela has a real, China, Angela has a really interesting mix of people. I met um, her son with, um, 
King, Tyga. King Cairo? I met King Cairo! <laughs> At the house, he sat on my lap. We talked about what it's like being a kid. Baby was upstairs, Rob's uh, daughter with a, it was a regular household in a mansion neighborhood, I might add. <laughs> like, where have I been, these people with these mansions? And all the Bentleys, all of her cars are the same color. She's got five of them and they're all like Ferraris and Bentleys and Rolls Royces. And China, Angela's got a really good life. And you know what, all right, so we're there at the house and, um, and um, all right, and then, oh, and then Jack A's there and the man, but I, dis I didn't dismiss him, like, cool. I said, no, you're not, like, I'm, I, I know I'm on the market. Well, I'm not on the market anymore. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, but okay, I know. I'm not in love, I'm not, no, I know how I'm doing, I don't know, I don't know how I'm doing, look. I'm not in love, but there's somebody that I'm crazy about. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know. I know. I know, I know. All right, listen, just listen. It's not who you think. Okay, mother doesn't deal with children. But it just so happens that I guess with my charm and wit, I attract people of all ages, whether you're 90, but if you're cool, you're my friend. If you're 27, like my new friend Mark, then you're, that, there's Mark. And there's me. Oh. oh God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, relax, relax. Show that picture again. All right, so here's the deal. All right, the paparazzi are chasing. All right, he's from LA. He came to New York. He had never been to New York before. The skyscrapers and everything. And I am a hand holder. If we go out, I'm holding your hand. I went out last night for dinner with my executive producer, David Perler, and I held his hand. Uh, you know, boof, you and I have been out. By the way, all the blogs are thinking we're supposed to be a couple. <laughs> they think we look cute together. Aww. I know. No, boof is a mess, okay? <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. But. But so Mark is new to New York and he's having panic attacks and I'm unsteady on my feet. You know, I got the vertigo and lymph lymphedema, by the way, I've been diagnosed. Uh, it, it's not gonna kill me, but I do have a machine and how dare you talk about the swelling of it all. It's lymphedema. Right. And, and I've got it under control. And if my um, feet and, and lower um, things never go all the way down, at least I have this machine I got fitted for it. It goes all the way up here. And I sit for 45 minutes a day. And believe me, it's the best party entertainer ever. Everybody who comes over wants to do this. It massages. Look, it's pushing all the, just look it up, okay? This is not a medical moment. In the name of Dr. Oz, which by the way, Dr. Oz, I know you and Lisa invited me over. Five weeks and I never got over to Oz, but that's okay, because we're back to work here at Wendy for like three and a half weeks, yeah, four, four weeks. weeks, and then we're off again until season 11, which is September 16th. Yep. And somewhere in there, <laughs> somewhere in there, I'm going to Oz and Lisa's. Back to the picture of Mark carrying that bag, because they're like, and she, he, he's spending all of her money and he's only 27 and she's running around in her panty shorts. <laughs> and let me tell you something right now. Do you see the pink right here? Okay, co-host, did you see me arrive this morning in my big pink poof? <laughs> right. This is not new clothes for a young boy that I'm tricking up my money on, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is us down in the village. He picked out the big pink poof. 
and I tried it on and show, there it is, right? It's fabulous. It's only for people who can actually handle it though. And so it's like my best friend during these five weeks, this big pink poof. I call it a poof because you know when you get in the shower and you use that poof? It's like a poof. And you know I love the crinoline. So anyway, here's me and Mark running around town. You're all thinking I'm messing around with a 27-year-old. 27-year-old boys, quite frankly, do find me very attractive. But, well, you know. I get it, I get it. But when it comes time for the comfort of a man, I need somebody in his 50s too. And he's gotta work. It helps that he's a doctor. I am not gonna say one more word. You're not gonna blow this for me. <laughs> say, you're not gonna blow this for me. But he's been married, his kids are in their 20s. Like he's totally, like he's, oh, and yes, he's black. I know you're wondering. He's black, yes, yes. Not Norman's color, or my, he's brown black. Okay, so like browner than me, <laughs> brown black. <laughs> And, and you know, in your 50s, sometimes you can either let it all go or not. <laughs> all that. Now, wait a minute. It is not, uh, they're telling me through this thing that the uh, hot topics are over. No. Wait, no, 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 everybody relax, what? No, we're not done. We're gonna come back and we're gonna hear some more about your summer. Perfect, grab a snack, and come on back. I can't breathe. So, you know, every once in a while you have to escape and go someplace where nobody knows your name, and you really just have to think. Five weeks off, it's really, like I, I missed you, but I'm trying to gather my life. And, um, and um, so I'm in the airport, no, listen. I mean, sorry, I mean. <laughs> They're telling me I only have seven minutes, it's still a show. You know what I mean? Ugh. So, I'm in the airport on my way to Idaho, Rambo, get this. Look, don't ask me why I was in Idaho. It's a, you see? Shout out to all my friends in Idaho. I got a few how you doings, but for the most part, it was, I was just a woman relaxing and gathering my thoughts. And, um, and the bracelet was given to me by a girl named Ashley. She didn't know I was Wendy or anything, right? And I saw the bracelet, I'm like, I like your bracelet, where do I get it? And she said, you know, you get it at the fair. So I went to the fair, I didn't see one, but I saw her again while I was at the fair. And so, so she says, do you want mine? And I said, no, she says I have another one at home. So she took it off and gave it to me. Thank you, Ashley. So, okay, okay, okay. There were three TV channels, like nothing. I had my books, my thoughts, thinking about you, but mostly gathering my life for me and my son and my family, just, you know. Look, no, listen, listen, listen. So I'm at the airport getting the usual snacks that you get for the plane. You know, you eat stuff at the airport that you normally don't get, like flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> I got my Cheetos. Uh, you know, I'm get, gathering my gummy bears. Of course, a fistful of Jolly Ranchers and the magazines. So I go over, I go, want the Vogue, I want the L, I want, Oh my gosh, I'm on the cover of the Globa? What is going on? Okay, shout out to the Globe. I know you have to do your job. Inaccurately, I might add, for this particular thing. I mean, I mean, thank you for the love and stuff. It was stunning, because I do hot topics. For 33 years, I've had this career. Only been unemployed for two weeks, by the way. I'd love to brag about that. Look. But when I saw this, I almost passed out right there. And then it's weird, like going to a grocery store, now, now I'm conscious of it, right? 
like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I, I bought all of them at the airport because <laughs> that's what you do. I read about the celebrities when they're on the cover of something and they don't like it or even if they love it, you buy them all. I bought them all and, and, and walked on about my business. Listen, my family is doing fine, all right? And I am doing fine and, and please, please. Poof, poof, make that go away, make that go away, make that go away. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, okay, other places that I traveled. I was in Chicago, I was in Phoenix. Uh, 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 uh. I went to Chicago, went to Phoenix, I was in Dallas. I went to Scottsdale, Arizona, another place that I went to gather myself. I was coming undone. Like, I need a schedule, I need to know at 10 o'clock New York to light it up. And, and it, 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 like, like, I need a schedule. So then, oh, I rode the Pepsi float for the Gay Pride Parade. Yeah. The time of my life. It was, it truly was, it, that, that first of all, I, yeah. yes, okay. They no longer call it a death drop, it's called dip. A lot of people, like I, I saw, people were like, would you break your leg and stuff like that. <laughs> no, you don't know the death drop. We do that all the time here between commercials. Suzanne, you know. Everyone. Clap all if you death drop. Here Clap if that. you death drop, do yeah. you know? Oh, I can't do it. Honey child, my sister Wanda saw the picture. She was like, you're so flexible. <laughs> I said, he knows. By the way, Black China gave me this outfit because this is one of the many ones that she wore in LA at Pride. And I was like, I love that. I, would, I love that. Like, that's perfect for me for Pride. I knew I was gonna be riding the float for Pepsi. So as I'm checking out of the hotel by myself, I didn't travel with anyone, I told you. And as I'm checking out of the hotel, um, they say, bye, bunny. Oh, yeah, I have a fake name. I made it up myself. Okay, now I have to change it, all right. But look, but look, 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 look. My name is Bunny Hops, H-O-P-P-Z. So, I'm at the hotel answering to fake names and stuff. All right, so look, so as I'm getting into the car to go back to the airport to come back to New York, they say, bye, Bunny. Wait, we have a package for you. So I take the package and get in the car, I'm flustered because I had such a great time. I met so many great people and you know, we're in at the Kardashian Jenners. And so on my way to the airport, so I open it up and it's Angela, she stopped by. She didn't even stop and bother me at the room. She stopped by or sent one of her assistants or whatever. She bought me the costume and left it there. So anyway, anyway, but Pride Day, Pride Day was a really big deal. It was definitely one of the best days of my life. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I was there with James. James had everything that I needed. I didn't even think about it, because you see there's no pockets in that costume. James had all of the tissues, right? Because at one point, right, I was crying. Like the love was so ridiculous. Like James, you, only me and you know exactly what was going on. At one point, a few points, the crowd was doing Wendy, Wendy so loud it overtook the, I, I wanted to pass out. Aww. It was 100 degrees, wow. right? Okay, all right, all right, oh, look, 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 look. Oh, by the way, I still haven't used the, the stove at my apartment. I still haven't cooked. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Wendy in the city. I, I, I eat out all the time. The refrigerator is full of leftovers from the food from the night before. I, I think I like this life. So, so then, all right, oh my God. So the phone rings after you know seeing all that's been going on with me in the news. It's my friend Byron Pitts. Do you know him? Do you know Byron? Nightline. Nightline, ABC. Okay, okay. Byron calls up, he always calls me sis. Yo sis, I'm just calling to check on you, is everything okay? I hate the wellness checks, all right? Like, it's better than okay. 
But so I'm talking at Byron and stuff. And so he says, look, me and my family are going to Martha's Vineyard. We're gonna be up there for a week. Why don't you come? You know, we have a guest house. You don't have to stay in the main house with us if you don't want to. We have a bunch of bicycles and it's just a place for you to breathe. Plus, I know a lot of single guys. I'm like, everybody's trying to hook me up. Like, I love it, I love it. But I already had my plans to go to um, Idaho. So I, so I said, no, Byron. So anyway, so I'm gonna catch up with him and his family later on this summer. But he wanted to do well, just come and breathe. Be silent, be silent and breathe. I know, I know. It's like ridiculous. You know who else wanted me to be silent and breathe? Who? You know Tasha Smith, that actress. She's been on our show. Look, 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 look. So Tasha, Tasha rented a yacht to sail around Manhattan for 4th of July. And she's like, Wendy, we're both single, cause she's single too. She's like, I'm inviting all the men and we will have our pick. <laughs> but I couldn't do that either because I was already booked to do something else. Yeah, no, that, I was in Idaho. I was there for like a whole week. It was like, it, it, was, so, it was so peaceful. Anyway, look, so. Another thing that I did, I went to Charlotte to speak to the youngins about how to be, you know, responsible. And you know, the kids, there were thousands of people. Yeah. Shout out to Black Enterprise for having me. It was their big conference in North Carolina. So I'm there and I'm talking, and there are thousands of people and the kids are really listening. And it's not about, have you ever met, you know, um, Jay-Z? It's about business. Like how do you build a business? The whole time, I know they wanted to say, are you dealing with a 27 year old? <laughs> it's been the elephant in the room my entire vacation. I'm just so glad to be back to clear up the air. Anyway, look, 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 look. Stop, 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 right? So then the flight from Charlotte was a mess. And we had to sit on the runway. Okay, we get to New York, but we can't land because there was apparently some sort of storm and we were backed up. We started to run out of gas in the plane. Oh. So the pilot says, uh, we need more gas. Oh. We're flying to Richmond. And, it, and I'm like, why aren't we flying then to Philly or something? It's right there. <laughs> Philly was backed up too. So we flew to Richmond, we got the gas, but we're on the runway for two hours. The whole time I see the, like I'm looking and I'm the hot topic and I'm trying to go like this. <laughs> oh, by the way, I was trapped in the plane with Fred from mediatakeout.com. Oh no, what? <laughs> <laughs> I can't make this up. The gossip man is with the gossip girl right there. And, and look, and we're not talking or anything like that. Like I love Fred, we, you know, we know each other, but, but the whole time I'm just like, I don't want him to, I don't want him to ask me anything. There is nothing to say until I get back to the show so I can talk to my constituency, you, right? Look, so we're on, no, 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 listen, listen, listen. So we're on this runway and the plane is hot and I got my big pink poof <laughs> featuring a negligee underneath and, and, just another day. Um, and so, and so, then my manager, Bernie, here comes Bernie, right? Cause I was flying, I had my assistant, my manager, and like that, Leah. Um, so look, so Bernie comes up to my seat and he's standing. And I'm like in a mood because, you know, I'm reading blogs and seeing like, I'm the hot topic and I don't like this. Like, I like to talk about people. I don't like to be one of the people. You know what I mean? So he says, Look, and he gives me his phone. I'm like, what, Bernie, what? And I almost got loud for Fred to have a story because he's sitting there, he's sitting there looking, right? So I said, what is it, Bernie? So he gives me the phone and I see, um, you know, walk of fame, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm looking and I'm in a mood and I'm just, even though I was successful with the kids in Charlotte, but I'm just in a mood, like my family is on fleek and n not in a good way, but I love my family and, uh, uh, you, okay. So he's like, just read. I'm like, what, Bernie? All right, I see. Everybody with the star of the walk of fame. What? I'm getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And so look, and so look, wait, 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 wait. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Listen, listen, listen. 
so, I, look, wait, look, look, with Julia Roberts, like I was in the headline, I'm like, what? Julia Roberts, first of all, I thought she would have already had one, the actress that she is. It's me and Julia Roberts and 50 Cent and some other people and, and Dr. Phil. And, but I'm like, I'm getting a damn star on the damn Walk of Fame. All right, listen, here's what happened. The ceremony is for us individually. So when I have mine, then, you know, come one, come all to the Halloween ball. Um, <laughs> but but this, we're part of the, they call it the class of 2020. And so they, they notify Bernie, you know, um, at the top of the year, like January 1st. All right, you know, here's when Wendy's date is. And then I will take a day off and go out there and, and, and lay on the ground. I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna wear. I would love to wear something like the pink poof, but that's been done. <laughs> but don't worry, Willie's gonna figure out a great costume and I'm gonna show out on that star, honey. <laughs> All right. I've got more lists to go. So I'll save it for you for tomorrow. Yeah. But we've got more great show for you, everybody. Up next, Trendy at Wendy.